This is Adam Minter, author of Junkyard Planet, Travels in the Billion Dollar Trash Trade, out this November from Bloomsbury Press. Most people don't realize the contents of their recycling bins are just a small piece of a half trillion dollar global business that touches everything thrown away. Take these southern Chinese women sorting metal fragments. The metal may look like garbage, but it's actually what remains of cars shredded by U.S. and European recyclers. On average, the United States alone shreds more than 11 million cars per year, more than enough to employ tens of thousands of workers in China and in India. The work may look menial, but it's not. The job requires weeks of training and practice, and in China, the best sorters are paid more than many college graduates. As for that sorted metal, it's remelted into new products, including auto parts. An hour away, workers at this factory toss imported American Christmas tree lights into machines that separate them into metal, glass, and plastic. At its best, this is how the global recycling business operates. People who don't want something give or sell it to people convinced they can make something new from it. This factory recycles one million pounds of American Christmas lights every year. The metal goes for remelting into new wire. The plastic goes to a shoe and slipper sole manufacturer. If this factory didn't exist, those Christmas tree lights would be landfilled or incinerated somewhere in North America. Alas, the global recycling industry isn't all good news. In much of the developing world, pollution is an inevitable byproduct of cleaning up for others. For example, this northern Chinese couple shreds perfectly reusable fruit baskets. The shredded plastic will eventually be remelted into new plastic, but first it must be washed, and in the process the wastewater is discharged into a creek. Still clean or not, the global recycling industry cleans up after all of us, whether at a Brazilian beer can recycler or at one of the world's most advanced recycling plants, such as this one in Houston, Texas, where workers still hand-pick trash from recyclables. Places like this inspired Junkyard Planet. I wrote it because that can of Coke you throw into a recycling bin doesn't magically disappear. Rather, it helps fund an entire industry that's transforming our world in ways that most of us are only beginning to understand.